Andy, Sister Girl at Christina, and today we are checking out My Gangster Relatives. This is by Tabs. I'm looking forward to seeing what this is about and what her how her relatives are. Because I I love family. I'm not gonna lie. When we, were, when we were in New York, it was great to be around my husband's family because he's got a lot of family in New York. And then one of the days we went to see my family and I just love especially everybody wants to see the baby and I love that I love that everybody wants to get connect and get together and spend time with each other and even down here I love it when my mom and sister and brother come up and just spending time with family I love oh and my uncle which I need to text him let me let him know him back because my baby cousin wants to spend time with the baby so it's just great with everybody like getting together anyways let's see what's gangsta about Tabs's relatives I oh, just I like a little rhyme there Tabs's relatives yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I'm gonna stop. I've had coffee today and with mixed with hot chocolate. I do my hot cocoa coffee, bruh, 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 and I did it with cocoa, coconut milk. Mm. Girl, get you some, get you some. And the link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out, along with the link for my merch, which you should also get some of. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So a few months ago, my mom and I visited K-pop land, oh, aka okay. South Korea for a Not month. Not the right? other one. So I had that dead long hiatus that time. You I was dead again. Well, anyways, Thought every she was single dead. one of my relatives live in South Korea. My oh, okay. The only one I didn't know her family the was Korean. Foreign snowflakes. That's cool. I haven't seen my relatives in over 12 <laughs> years, so you could uh, imagine the pure excitement of meeting random strangers. Hey, little Johnny, you you've gotten you so really big. Them. Oh, I used and to. Legally, yeah. Uh, oh, I I hate that. And especially when like, and I mean, I hate it, but it's hypocritical because I'm going to do it when I get older. And I know people are going to do it to the baby when, when she gets older. That whole, oh, do you remember me? I rem And they'll be like, I remember when you were like two years old and you did A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Do you remember? No, I don't remember what I did when I was two years old. Who remembers that? You, because you was an adult. You wasn't two years old when that happened to me. Okay. So it's annoying when they, because you feel bad because they, you know, they obviously remember you at a time that you don't even remember anything. But nonetheless, I digress. This says, oh, I used to remember when you were still wearing diapers and smearing poop all over the walls. See? Oh, yeah. What? Who the heck? Right. Who are you? I don't know you. Who know who you are, mm -hmm. but you don't really remember them. Mm -hmm. And they're legally allowed to squish your cheeks as much as they want to. We bought a cheap flight to South Korea. Okay. The first 10 minutes I got on the plane, I was thinking, Which flight was, oh yeah, now this what they, what is airline? nice. This okay. is peaceful. That's good. Too peaceful. Too peaceful. I don't know if you ever seen that video with the kid crying the whole eight hour plane ride. Give me it goes something like, really? Now I know what you're all thinking. Somebody what? Oh no. Are you serious? Plane ride. But it goes something like, <laughs> now for the eight hour flight? My heart goes out because we had a two and a half hour flight from Florida to New York and from New York to Florida. And our baby, she was not screaming like that, but she was fuss. Hey, fussy as heck, bruh. She did not. Wa she wanted to get down. She wanted to walk around the plane. And you can't do that ish. OK. And she was not happy. So if that was the case, I my heart goes out to those parents and to that baby, because normally when they're screaming like that, something's wrong, like they're uncomfortable and they don't have any way, other way of explaining it or saying anything. And I, my heart goes out to them parents. I think I would cry. <laughs> I would literally cry. Because what you gonna do? You had to play for eight hours and that's happening. I would cry. Now I know what you're all thinking. Somebody throw his punk out the window. No, you know I, my heart goes out. bad. Because when everyone was finished boarding, it wasn't mm. even just one kid sitting there. I love the Rugrats. Um, it was three. Really? I sat there like, oh, oh no, nah. yeah. this is going to be a dumb long plane ride. It's Mom, true. Mom, I'm hungry. Mom. Oh, that's chilly. Mom, change my diapers. Uh. Mom, give me milk. Mom. I love, oh, is that Groot beside nine. her mom? All right, that's it. Stupid. Hey, look at me. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Oh, my mom, goodness. I don't like the people here. She just yelled at me. <laughs> here. Oh, snap. Take my fortune cookie. Take all of it. <laughs> Thank you, but stop spoiling my brats. I mean, children. I mean, wow, you children. didn't even try censoring that. The only good thing about that that's ride was funny. food. They fed you every three hours, and I'm pretty sure oh, I gained 10 good. pounds just from that flight alone. Oh, oh I want to fly. I got limbs now. The first thing I, I noticed when snow. I got that's off funny. the plane was BTS was everywhere. Really? Baby Shark was everywhere. Really? I am not exaggerating when I say BTS be on everything you own oh, around here. Oh, wow. You can either sound like paradise to y'all or your worst wow. nightmare. Wow. There is no Whoa, hold up. What are they doing with some chicken, though, bro? 
Charlie needs to watch this video just for this aspect right here. We went to like a rooftop cantina restaurant in New York, and he wanted to ask if they could. Re- he wanted to request that they play BTS. <laughs> He's next level in the in the K-pop hole. But what they got to do is some chicken. Though. Oh, but that chicken pie is delicious. I love Korean glazed chicken wings. Bruh, so good. Spicy, but delicious and sweet and cr- and glazed and like crispy and delicious. I think I'm going to have try- Korean food. I was going to say Chinese, but that's not what I meant. I meant Korean food tonight. Mm-hmm. And there is no in between. I met some of my relatives right outside the airport. That's Their good. reactions were everything you'd expect. Oh my, how you've grown. Oh, I love the granny voice. So big. Aww. Yeah, maybe sideways, but thanks. You're <laughs> so squishy. Aww. You know what? I'm gonna let this slide today. I missed you so much. Aww. You're so precious. Mwah. 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 You That's look just cute. like your dad. You're a splitting image of him. You think so? Most people there are brutally <laughs> honest. Like so they'll say things as Power it is. Girls they'll go. roast you, and they wouldn't even think it's a roast. That's just culture. That's They'd true. They'd casually say That's things true. like, you got fat. You got to lose some uh, mm. blubber there. Mm-hmm. Tell the lard looking. Hey, how much money you make? Tell me now. You're too what? rich to talk to us now, huh? Ah, uh, see? What kind of ugly yeah. hippie shirt is that? If you don't take what your auntie back see? to Hot Topic, oh, I'm going to call the fashion police on you. Oh, my After that goodness. That lasts a little harsh, though. So. A cousin of mine. We're going to call her Sia. Because okay. she got that Sia haircut going oh, okay, on. Okay. Us three decided to head over to my grandma's house to stay Madre. for a while. Truth be told, she's one of the most savage ladies I've met. Grandmas fact, can't be just like... We're going to give like her an eye patch blunt. and cigarette and eight-pack abs. Wow, okay. Oh, you want a piece of this? All right. we got out the taxi i thought she was gonna maul us by the way she was triple power walking towards us oh my god oh, is that you come here you slackers <laughs> don't be making a young lady like me run oh hey, dear uh, not to make anyone piss their pants mm-hmm. or anything but that's not her right please say nah uh-huh. oh, i can't recognize <laughs> you at all you got so big <laughs> here let me carry those for you that's let's funny. get back to the apartment what are you waiting for hurry up faster. <laughs> hurry up faster coming it took us a few seconds to reach the corner she turned at. Mm-hmm. And the next thing I knew, she was already at the next corner. What the? Fast, Every lady. we turned, she kept getting farther and farther. Goodness. Like black magic. How are you? you? What's keeping you? How are, are you, you going to so get slow? there? You're a hundred years too young to be moving like that. Okay, Keep granny. Up, you'll die first from natural selection. Oh, something my yada, goodness. Yada. Oh, okay. my so gosh. My running speed was her walking speed. Mind you, she was carrying two of my 50-pound luggages. Really? And moving the same speed as Sonic. Goodness. Like, damn. She walks faster than any New Yorker I've seen. Oh, Makes me wonder they what the are old fast. people here put in their coffee. The first time she took a good a look cocaine? at my phone, she had a look of disapproval. What kind of crap phone is this? Really? What is that? What is that? Some phonograph from the 1940s What kind something? of phone you got, no, Granny? it's a Galaxy S7. S7? What the hell? You call yourself a true millennial? Oh, what? Dear. What, 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 what? You think this is some kind of <laughs> Go buy yourself a new one, you stinking hobo kid. Oh You're my! Like a ball and stripper now. Gosh, thanks, right? Grandma, I got me an S10 with that money. I felt the Team fever Twitter, or, Android. or something coming within the first few days I got here. Oh, really? Because of the environment changes. And I That's told possible. myself, hell no, body. You ain't doing this to me now. Okay. I'm here to have fun. Okay. We're gonna pull through. All right, let's go. Work it out, girl. Squat. Work it out. Squat. Yeah. I was not no, in the mood you for that. do that. Your body needs to rest when you feel any kind true. of sickness. True. Actually, that's Looking true. Back, I should have listened to my mom who's a nurse. It's instead, true. Instead, my stubborn hind goes, Clothes are for the weak. I'm going to fight it. Let's go. One, <laughs> two, three, four. I know people like, oh, Why was I my born? Gosh. I contemplated my whole life the two weeks I was laying in bed. And believe me, oh, this migraine was no fun. It's not that I don't appreciate the gesture and all. Yeah, she has to rest. you all have to watch over my bed? Because I kind of feel like a hospital patient right now. That's Listen funny. here, sassy. Oh, if you die dear. here now, I'm going to kill you. Got that? What? No <laughs> relative of mine is going to make my bed. That's this. the ish that gra- like grandparents and parents say. Like, oh, if you if you die, if you die I'm going to kill you. Right? You hear me? I ain't going to lie. I said it. <laughs> I said it. I'm like, babe, if you... If you <laughs> If you die from what you're doing, I'm going to kill you. I've said that to my husband. It's true. It's funny. That's how we be. Her deathbed. You hear? Mm-mm. I don't want to stick around there too long for obvious reasons. And right. I was in need of a desperate getaway. So okay. my cousin and I went to visit my aunt's house. And there wasn't That's much good. I could do in that condition except sushi roll myself in a blanket and watch TV. Sounds comfy, At least though. it was more peaceful than the other place. Oh, they made the mistake of handing me the TV remote, which led us to watch mm-hmm. YouTube for 13 hours straight. We wow. Watched music videos, family Sammy guy clips, and old vines. <laughs> it got mad taste, I know. I okay. can tell okay. they were struggling just to keep their eyes open. But I kept oh, clicking 
they're on tired. videos anyways. They both fell asleep oh, at 3 dear. a.m. while I kept that watching. That KO was and in crazy. in the morning, they both had a serious talk with me. What? Listen, as your aunt, mm -hmm. you know I only care about your well-being. Okay. And I think you have a serious YouTube addiction. <laughs> it's time to seek help. I swear, <laughs> in my 24 years that's, on this earth, I have, that's I have hilarious. Never, she said that. ever, ever what? seen anyone watch YouTube for 13 hours straight. You need a doctor? That is... I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I thought that was crazy. normal nowadays. Maybe it's a US thing. After it's I got normal. better, yeah. I kind of felt bad for my cousin because she, she was looking forward to going to places for me. While she I just sick. sat oh. by waiting the whole time. And to mm. make up for it, I thought of the most basic thing I could think of. What? I got it. Let's do an escape room. Wow, you're a basic Oh. I mean, don't you have a lot of those in the U.S.? <laughs> it's all good. I can do That's escape true. rooms every day. I'm afraid to do them now after honest. those people It was a little disappointing. We did this one? As I hoped, but my cousin thought otherwise. Really? Because right. that you was creepy. You said the code was 0000. zero, zero, zero. Oh. That's when you know this place is ratchet. Sweet. Okay. Oh. Right, it worked. Oh. oh my god. Where's the next clue at? Why is this room so dark? She's like the lights at? good. No, unfazed. Is that a dead body in the She's closet? She's unfazed. Yes, we just found their next story time video. Ooh. Let's get it. Uh, we ended up using all our clues. And the guy on the screen was like, hey. Did y'all, I'm going to rewind it for those who missed it. When she, because I saw the picture change and in my mind I was like, was that Logan Paul? Dead body in the closet? Guess who just. It was Logan. Uh, that was Logan Paul in reference to the ja the Japan thing, the Japanese forest thing. Oh my goodness, she's like, guess we found their next story time video. I love it. I love <laughs> shots fired. I love it. I love shots fired. Just found their next story time video. Ooh, let's get it. We ended up using all our clues. And Dear. the guy on the screen was like, hey, we'll give you another clue if you dance for us. You ah. cheeky bastards. They're totally yeah. asking us to lap dance right now. Oh, yeah? Don't give no. us your smug winky face. Because there is no way in hell we're dancing. Are you thrusting? Uh, oh, no, I'm flossing. Oh, that she's flossing. Is, that is okay. not a floss. Okay. This is a floss. All right, oh. we're dancing. Give us our damn uh. clue. What in the world are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> Let's give the poor fools their clue. In Just comparison to her calm, sweet demeanor, the women mm -hmm. on her side of the family were a bunch of party animals. I call oh, them really? the Beast Threesome. They're the okay. big hype squad, and they are way the more hype than squad? capable of eating mukbang sessions amount of food. It's snack time. A lot? That's, That's a lot of food. Goods, that they can finish the feast from that one scene in Spirited Away. Not to mention they can drink lot every food. single day and never get hung over from it. Quote it really? from my cousin herself. That kind of digestive tract and energy. Look at that. Goku genetics. Yeah, That's what saying. it is. Just the three of them alone are enough to match the energy it's, of a college frat party. I Last was going to say, is that. Talk about is my grandpa college professor. I, I no, I was going to say, is that their table, but just, you know, an animated version of them? From it. Quote it from my cousin herself. That kind of digestive tract and energy. I went back too got far. some Goku genetics. That's what it is. Just the three of them alone. I are thought that was the table, the but no, it's American. Party. Last guy I'm gonna you talk about is my grandpa, college the professor, beers and stuff. who happens to laugh like Santa Claus. <laughs> really? I didn't know I who to look for that. at first, but yet again, as soon as I came out the taxi, no hi, mm -hmm. no hey, no nothing. He shoved a bunch of papers in my face and started talking about his ideas in waterways. I thought this was just what? some random business guy promoting his sales. Are you right. a real life YouTube ad? Nope. Right. I'm just a very passionate man trying to share his ideas with the world. Here, take a look okay. at this. And this, oh, oh, and this wow. And this. Oh, then wow. He took like a hundred pictures of us together. And then oh. he rushed me into his office. Can we again, I just want to know what oh. these old people put in their coffee. He opened the door to his <laughs> office and proudly said, Ta da, this is where I work. And oh my god, there were, were there crazy papers? piles of paper taking up more than 85% of the room. Oh, what? wow. You sure this ain't just a graveyard for dead trees? Aww. It's just facts. The busier you it's are, just the messier your workplace is. Yeah, that hey. is one fat excuse if I ever heard one. This is the closest Not a picture excuse. I found to his office. Or, or this one. I oh. don't know how anyone can get work done <laughs> in that I kind just of said atmosphere, this one. but I call it a fucking miracle. Overall, I'd say Dear. I enjoyed the trip, even while being sick most of the time. Completely mm -hmm. different atmosphere than what I'm used to. But people That's are good. pretty tough That's here. Good. They got a fiery passion. And all the people mm -hmm. there got this unreal amount of energy. They fit just That's the right good. tastes. And in that sense, I wish I stayed there longer. Alright, okay. I gave a brief description about this fancy website. Well, let me back up here. That's cool. I'm, I've always, as far as places that I've wanted to go to, um, South Korea has been one of them. I have no desire to go to North Korea and just be safe, people. It's best you don't go there. Like, it's, 
We ain't got to talk about North Korea. Anyway, South Korea, I've always wanted to go there. Um, there was a girl I used to be really close to, and her family is Korean. She's mixed, Korean and American, um, and, or Korean and white. And I've always been interested in going there. One of the things I've seen, I've even watched some videos of people who, are, who went there and how different the culture is, how different the food is, how different um, the people are. And the, the place, that's another thing. I want to go to Japan as well. Like the aspect of that atmosphere being so vastly different than what you're used to. I love things like that for, I guess, anthropological cravings in my mind. I love experiencing other people in different, I guess it's the, what, what do we call that? Outrovert, what? Introvert, outrovert, outrovert. That's what I am because I love being around other people and taking that in, sucking that in, um, their energy, give me your energy. <laughs> but I'm like a me middle, we talked about that, we ain't got to dive, that, dive back into that. But I love experiencing other cultures. So for me, I've always wanted to go to South Korea and see what it's like there. I heard, one of the things that I heard is like, the first thing that I'll notice is how fashionable everybody is. That's what my my friend would say, or even like other people when I watch videos, like how fashionable a lot of people are over there. Like basic clothes are super fashionable. And I'm like, I want to see that. I want to go to there. I want to experience that and see what it's like. Get some clothes there. Also, I heard that their um, face or beauty products are really good, especially for my peoples. We, they, they got some good products for my peoples. And so I wanted to experience that too, you know? I think it's always good when you kind of go across your line, your bubble, and experience other people and how they are, who they are, what they eat, what's their culture, what's their fashion, you know, to get that experience and kind of learn more about other people. So I think it's cool that she went there and got that chance. Um, my only thing is that flight, bro. At two and a half hours with the baby was a lot. Actually, going from here to... LA when we did that in August was a lot so to go to Korea I'm gonna have to wait till she gets a bit older where she can maybe conk out like go to sleep the whole time or you know be more calm and chilled making sure the mic is fixed um what's that sound did y'all hear that was that this I don't know if y'all heard that but I heard a sound just now and it was unsettling nonetheless let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What'd you think of her trip? What'd you think of her relatives? If you like this video, hug the life of that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.